Okay. So welcome everyone to our first day of Can Sale One. So the first thing we're going to do today is talk about some of the knots we use in the bogies. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and identify what these knots are used for when we're rigging and in the water and what situations we should be using them in. So the first thing we want to talk about is why these four knots are important. So the four knots that I'm going to teach you today are the bowline, the reef knot, the figure eight knot, and the round turn two half hitch. So the bowline is a knot that would you, you would use to secure two loops together. So if I were to tie one, you'll see that it forms a loop. So with this, you can tie it off to another one or something else. So let's say one of the uses for this is to tie to the end of the sail. So this would allow you to pull in the sail and attach it to a ring, or if like any use like that. Um, the other one, the reef knot. The reef knot is used to tie two ends of a rope that are the same uh, width. So these two ropes, they're the same size. I tie them together, and this gives me a knot that will hold them together. So one of the uses we can use this for is for like let's say towing, but you have to be careful because it's not always the strongest. The third one here is the figure eight knot. So what the figure eight knot is used for is it's a stopper knot. So let's say I was going to put this rope through um, one of the clues on the sailboat. All I have to do is tie a simple little knot that stops it from going back through. That's why we call it a stopper knot. And it's a figure eight knot because it looks a little bit like an eight. And then the last one, I have this for my example here because I don't have a real bar. Um, so the round turn two half hitch, what it is for is tying off like let's say your boat to the dock. So on our docks in Little Current, we just have a couple bars or wooden runners along the dock. So all we have to do is go up to one of these, do the round turn, which is a loop around, and then two, if I had a little more rope, half hitches. So what a half hitch is, like you can remember this, is it's similar to like what you tie your shoe with first, that's a half hitch. There's your half hitch. And then if you're yanking on this, your boat is going up and down with the waves, it's not gonna come off. And you can give a couple more little half hitches just to make it a little bit stronger. So now let's just talk about some more background information on the uses of them. So with the bowline, and obviously you can tie it off to something. It can also be used for docking. You can also use it for heaving sometimes, like if you're going to throw it to someone overboard. The reef knot is also used sometimes in the boat for securing loose ends. Like let's say, I know this happens once in a while, maybe your rope snaps or something, and in a quick situation you have to tie them together. So that is one instance where you can use the reef knot. And then the figure eight knot. So on the boat, we don't call ropes ropes. Sometimes they're called sheets. So these sheets are what are attached to the sails, what influence the sails. So when you're pulling in a sail, you don't want that rope to go immediately out of your hands or out of the stopper that you got. So that's why you tie the figure eight knot so it doesn't get pulled out of that spot. And then the round turn half hitch, as I said before, we mainly use it just for docking because we, when we pull our boats in the water, we usually leave them deregged and ready to go, but we have to have a way to secure them because we don't always have cleats there in the dock. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hand out to a couple of you to try it, some rope that I just want you to try, give an attempt at some of these knots. There you go, Max. Chris. Happy to have you all here. So we'll start out with the figure eight knot. So, left hand should have the end of the rope, whichever one you want to be the very end. And then with your right, you're gonna make a small loop like this. And then with the end of the rope, you wrap it around like so, and then pull it back through. <coughs> Last knee. Yes, it is. And then this is just the simplest stopper knot that we have, and they're very easy to come undone. Even after like the sheets and the have been pulled so tight that it's really hard to get them done, it's not too bad. So it's easy for de-rigging and it's quick and easy to do. Anyone else want to try? Not right now, maybe later. You'll all have to do it anyways at some point. So now we'll try with the round turn two half hitch. So Jeremy, I want you to try it. 
with this large piece of paper. All right, so here you are. So what you have to do to start, I'll take the small one. Thanks. First, you have to wrap it around once, twice. Okay. Then take a, give yourself enough slack so you have enough. Like then all you do, yep. Yeah. Okay. Then bring it over top and back through. Yep. Okay, so like this. Pull. There you go, pull it. Okay. There you go. And then go back over again, over top, and then back through. And then pull and see how it gets that shape that it's got now. And then what you can do with this is show everyone, Jeremy. Oh, guys, look what I did. You can do a couple more half hitches if you didn't want this to come undone. And if you give it a pull, give it a quick hand. See? It's fairly strong. It's not going to come off. So then your boat is going to stay attached to the dock and not float off. So, Max, would you like to try the bowling? All right. So take your rope. So your left hand will have the end that you're tying with. The rest over here is just the extra slack. So the first thing you do is make a loop that looks like this. You need a little more slack, so make your loop further along down here. It'll take a fair bit. There you go. Hold it like that. Then all you do is go under the loop. Out. Around the tree trunk. And then back through. And then you'll grab the end there, and then the extra end over here. And just give it a little pull. Come on, Matt. I probably showed you wrong. It's okay. But we'll go over that eventually. But right now, um, there's a game we could play, but we don't have enough people right now, so it wouldn't be fun. Uh, we'll do that maybe another day, maybe a little while later. But the next thing we should talk about is just some qu some questions about these knots. So. I'm going to tell you a knot, and I just want you to bring up random ideas what you'd use this knot for. So like, let's say the figure eight knot. What are some uses for it? Put up your hands or just shout it out. Kevin, would you like to say something? Yeah. 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 All right. Tire swing. Why would you use it on a tire swing? I have no idea. No. Remember, the figure eight knot is the stopper. So like, let's say you've got like anything you need to not go through. Like at, get it done. So let's go back to the bowling. So what would you use the bowling for? You got the bumper seat. <laughs> Securing a rope to a sail, like a sheet to a sail, right? Sure. Or what else? What other uses do we have it for? Jeremy's got this one. What do you what? What about Jeremy? Jeremy? What would you use a bowling for? Anything. Which Anything. one is that again? <laughs> it is the loop, remember? Okay, so... Uh, actually, I have no idea for this one. I was better with the other one. All right, which one do you know then? What about oh, round okay. turn to that pitch? Uh, no, not so much. I mean... Securing your boat. To the dock, yeah. yeah. What else could you secure it to then? Like, what other uses can I have? You can secure stuff. Uh, other stuff. Secure yourself, that's good. Like yeah, that's maybe. Skis, skis. Yeah. Um, so then the other thing, like, let's say, let's say with the recon. How about on your boat, um, something's happened. You have to throw a tow line out to someone. You can either use a bowline, right? You could tie two bowlines together, which is the best bet. There's also like, you could do a towing knot, or let's say a, uh, one of the sheets in your boat is broken. You just need a temporary fix. You need to be able to get back to shore, fix it up. You could tie a reef knot. So these four knots are the ones we'll be using the most constantly throughout the week. So why don't we go out and rig our boats and we'll use these four knots. Okay guys? We don't have any they're outside, let's go. All right. All right. Come on.